my name is Suzanne, and uh, I am the author of the two books that you see on my either side, my left and right. The very uh, dish that I'm making today is called Muhammad, M apostrophe H A M M A R. Heat up my pan, and then I take a little bit of clarified butter. Okay, that's about a tablespoon. All right, dates go in. I'm not going to put all this amount, so I'd say a good two cups of dates. So I'm going to add a little spice, and this is just chopped red and green pepper that I've taken the seeds out, chopped it fine. This is a little bit of allspice. It is not a blend of spices, it is a spice called allspice. And then also another spice is cinnamon. Basmati rice, and then I'm going to add it, maybe even four cups of rice in here. I'm going to saute them together. Uh, I could use water, but uh, chicken stock has more flavor, so let's keep it with the flavor. Just enough to immerse the rice completely by about an inch. Also going to add some flavor, two cinnamon sticks, just throw them in. Some of the peel of the orange. Cardamom, yes. And in Arabic, it's called hail. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. This is just sea salt, flaked sea salt. Now, this dish is just beginning to boil now. So I'm going to cover it. Hamar in the Emirates is always served, or traditionally served, with fish. Next ingredient is zafaran. So that's the name of it, and I have soaked it in rose water. To finish cooking this, it, it needs about another five minutes to cook. And I want my rice to be really nice and fluffy. I actually take a dishcloth, okay, that is cotton, cover this, okay, here, put it on the tiniest, tiniest, the bare minimum of heat, which is it, it is on, and let, let it finish cooking. What it does is it traps the steam even more and makes every grain fluff up. Now I have filleted sea bream. So all I'm doing is just uh, making a little slice just on the top and this is just going to help get the flavor in there and it's also going to keep my fish flat when I pan fry it in the pan. All right, to my pan I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil and then I'm also going to glaze it with a little bit of olive oil here. I'm going to get some salt, a little bit of pepper, black pepper, and then again that fennel that I promised you earlier. And I'm going to take it um, skin side down. Get this one guy. The flesh is starting to turn white, so you know that it, the protein is starting to cook. There. I just want to check on my rice. It is totally done. I'm going to turn it off, okay, and just leave it alone. So the steam will keep it hot and keep the rice uh, remain nice and fluffy. It's, it's that caramelized uh, flavor of the dates along with all the spices. It's just, it's amazing. You know, we have to put nuts. It's not complete. So I've got toasted almonds and then, of course, toasted uh, snowbar, our pine nuts and then toasted pistachios <laughs> and pomegranates, fish, serve it any way you like, but I think this is nice, like that. Coriander leaves on top, sure. and this is Muhammad.